Happy Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm Connor Williams and we're back with another one of our end of season player reviews. And today is none other than Abdullahi Decore. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, Abdullahi Decore played 30 games for us, two goals, four assists. I've got some more of his stats here. Like I said in the last um, couple, what I'd like to do is go through some base stats, you know, face value ones, then some little bit more in-depth ones where he shines compared to the rest of the league. Uh, and then obviously the eye test, I'll tell you what I think just from watching him this season. Um, then I'll give you his best game I think I've seen and the worst game I think I've seen and my rating out of 10 for him for the season. So, like I said, two goals, four assists. Uh, he's played, started 29, was subbed in for one. Played about 2,537 minutes, six yellow cards, an XG of three. Uh, and he's got two goals, so he's performing slightly below that. He probably should have a goal more for the chances he's got. Um, 11 shots on target, 10 off, four assists, 19 chances created, 1,083 passes, um, attempted dribbles, 41, 21 of them successful, 75 tackles attempted, 43 of them were successful, 30 clearances and 28 interceptions. There is base stats. Um, and I'll go through his ones compared to the rest of the league now. Um, yeah, for the rest of this is midfield compared to midfielders in the Premier League. Um, I won't give every single one. I'll just give some of the good ones. Goals, 0 0.07. That is above, uh, just below average for the league. Um, most leagues midfielders on average have got 0 0.10. Kevin De Bruyne way up there with 0 0.61. Allen, coincidentally, right down at the bottom with 0. Assists, he's got 0 0.14 assists uh, per 90. That is above average. It's not quite Paul Pogba at 0 0.60, but it is above the average. He is in the in the top percentile for that, uh, which is great to see. Um, his non-penalty expected goals is 0 0.10 for a midfielder. That's just, just above the average of the Premier League, um, which is, again, good to see. Looking down now... Um, this is where we get a bit worrying. Passes completed, 31 uh, passes completed per 90, which is below the Premier League average. Same with passes, uh, pass completion at 80%, which isn't awful, but it is just below the average of the Premier League. Um, assists, he is doing quite well in, though. He's 0 0.14 assists per 90 like I said, well up there in the green percentile of the league. Um, passes under pressure, 8.8 .8 under pressure, uh, which is higher than the league's, um, higher than the league average. Rodri rules that low with 14. Clearly a very calm, level-headed player, um, which when you watch Rodri, you can tell. Um, now we've got successful dribbles that lead to, um, lead to a goal. Um, he's got 0 0.04 successful dribbles that lead to something that's above the league percentage funnily enough Andre Gomez is the top there uh, and shots that lead to it is at 0 0.4 Ruben Loftus-Cheek is the highest at 0 0.13 but again still above the percentage um, his passes that lead to goal created opportunities is 0 0.18 which is just on the average uh, now, he does play centre mid, so for all the passing, it's not just about passing in that position. You've got to do good uh, tackling. Uh, 2.7 tackles per 90, which is just above the average, about 0 0.20, 30 above the average. Um, he wins 1.6 tackles per 90, which is pretty much average. Um, dribblers tackled, 0 0.92. Um, percentage of dribblers tackled is 37.1, which is bang average. Now, this is the one that I do expect with the Corey pressures. He has 23.27 pressures per 90, uh, which is well above the, the percent, the average, but Deli Ali rules the roost with that one as the league's highest. Pressures in the defensive third, 0 0.08, which again, above the average, but his teammate Alan at 10.72, rules the roost at the Premier League's top in that percentile. Um, other than that, he's been dispossessed 0 0.67 times, uh, which is no, which is just below the average, which is good. Um, which is it's 
below the average. So he's not getting dispossessed a lot. But when you look at the core, the physical stature he is, you'd hope he's not getting dispossessed. Ball recoveries, which is the number of times he recovers loose balls, 12.59. The average is 9.71 per 90. He is well up there. Only Wilfred and Diddy from Leicester beating him there. And that's the stature type you, you associate with the core. Sweeps up, never stops running. Um, I don't know if this has distance covered. I'll have a look now. Um, but distance covered would be an interesting one with Abdullah Decore because he does seem to absolutely run the lengths of the pitch. Um, I don't think they do do how much he runs. They do do progressive carrying distances and total carrying distances, and he is quite high there, um, which is good to see. Uh, but I don't think this actually says how much he's cleared the absolute space of the pitch. But I imagine it'd be quite high because there have been times where he doesn't stop running. Now that is stats. Uh, now for the, the eye test. Um, it's been an okay season for Abdullah Dekore. I think he struggled in pit. I think he struggled in bits. I think him and Alan both have struggled in bits. Whether that's because they're tired. Possibly, I do believe it might be because they're tired. Um, but yeah, they have. I, I do. I know people will say they've struggled, and I agree with that. I think they have struggled. They look a bit tired. The core looked a bit tired, um, especially during. I know he was um, he was practicing Ramadan, um, and during that time, he looked a bit tired. But obviously, he's fasting for Ramadan, so I, I expected him to be a bit tired and the, the levels to drop off slightly because to be covered to be the type of player he is you need your energy levels quite high um i just think he's played a lot of games as well and he's he's a runner same with alan not quite the running bit but like alan played a lot of games and i think we start to see alan look a bit tired um as well i think the core is a similar he just was tired uh his best games coincidentally have probably come under rafa benitez for me it's probably the norwich game or uh where he got a goal or it's the Burnley game where we won 3-1, where we had that mad 10 minutes, where he got two assists, um, which was quite impressive. He got two assists, had one shot as well, 75% um, uh, pass completion, two chances created, they were the two assists, like I said. Uh, one, free, uh, one half his tackles, three interceptions, nine recoveries, really did play well that game. Other than the Norwich game, that was probably his best game for us this season. Uh, one of the games I think he uh, the game that I think he struggled the most, possibly Arsenal last game of the season, um, which I think, bear in mind it was a five-one thumping. Uh, I think it's fair to say a lot of the lads struggled in that game. Uh, but yeah, the core went off thirty-seven minutes in. Um, it just wasn't at the races, was he? I don't know if he was injured, uh, but it wasn't at the races for the core. Um, but yeah, I really like him. Don't get me wrong. This isn't me. I wouldn't. I don't think people saying get rid. Um, I don't think that's a good idea. I think he's a good player. Still got a lot to offer. I just think we need to rotate. We need depth. We need a lot of depth in this squad. Midfield is one of the places I believe we're looking at, and I think we do need that. Um, but yeah, I really like the core. I think he's a solid defender, like Allen as well. I think he's a solid defender. I think they're a solid two. I just don't think they can play every single Premier League game, Premier League game at the levels they do and expect to still be that consistent. Um, for the season, I'd give him a 6.57 for me, the core rate. I think he has struggled in bits, but he has he has played well. I think we'd I think he's one of them. If you take him out, you notice him a lot more than when he's in. Um, just because you notice what you miss from him then he does like he does the dog's body works and does the recoveries um, I think he does the work that doesn't always get appreciated um, don't forget though to let me know uh, don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already and comment down below your thoughts on the core this season give me the core A's overall rating out of 10 uh, and what you think moving forward uh, and hopefully next season a bit more uh, depth in midfield and he can have a rest and we should see a lot higher standards from Abdullah Decore. Uh, but I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.